roots and blues on a meteor pass. I never actually made a video about that. I meant to and then just never did. But yeah, they offered me a meteor pass because I made a video last year and they liked it and they're like, make another one for us. So that's really awesome. She's got the power workshop, which is three. Okay, a look at what it means to be a woman in the music industry. So it should be cool. So it's coming to the end of day two of Roots and Blues, and I have done a bunch of things. Gone to workshops, um, watched Berlinski beat and a track called Red for a bit. We're, they're still playing, but the crowds are a bit too much for me. So we just left and we're eating mini donuts now, which are delicious. I like mini donuts. I went backstage for the first time tonight, so that was pretty cool because I just hadn't really taken advantage of that yet. Um, the perk of this media pass. And so, yeah, we went backstage during a trap called Red, went into the photo pit and was like taking uh, videos and stuff, which I will include at some point in this video. Beatboxing battle between Felix Zenger and this other beatboxer from Vancouver that I forget his name. That was really cool, and I got some footage from that. And also, we watched the Bell game. The nifty. I'm gonna say nifty. I was gonna say nifty. I'm gonna say nifty. I'm gonna turn it to nifty. And now there's like a how to beatbox workshop this way. Swivel, swivel, swivel over there. But I feel like it sounds like it's a lot less of learning how to beatbox and more just to beatboxing. I just heard him talk right now, so maybe he was teaching. I don't know. But basically, Roots and Blues is almost over, and it's sad. But City of Color is tonight, and I'm super excited for that. It's a little bit before City of Color. I don't know if you can even hear me, probably. And I just really like Roots and Blues. It has been a very good weekend. How is your first Roots and Blues meet me? It's been pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Yeah? So, what's been your highlight? Um, the medieval band. Agree. From a favorite city as well, Berlin. Oh yeah, that's good. Rochelle, what's been your favorite part of the weekend? Um, I have to agree. Corvus Parks was kind of amazing. I did like them also as Berlinski Beat. They did a really like a kind of a different genre, and I enjoyed that as well. For sure. Just all the workshops this year were just really great. Urts and Blues is generally just one of my favorite weekends of the year. Sitting Colors playing um, backstage right now, sitting at a picnic table, and it's been a really cool experience being media and being backstage and getting video footage that I never would have got otherwise. So it's been just like really nifty being able to kind of expand my videoing of this festival. As I've taken videos every year, and last year was the only one I edited one together for, but it's just been a really good experience being able to do this. It's just been nifty and I really appreciate the chance that I got to come to this festival that I love and it's my fifth year here and and be able to video and think of things and view the festival in a bit of a different way and so 
be pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of City in Color, probably as an audience member because Rochelle is over there and I feel bad chilling back here the entire time, you know? Yeah. So, yeah.